Hello, today we're going to learn how to open a bottle of sparkling wine. Exciting. Well, there's some important steps. The first one is we have to remove the foil from the top. And you'll notice that under the foil there is a cage. And the cork is under the cage. Now, very important, there's a lot of pressure in this bottle. There's more pressure on the cork than there is in a car tire. So you don't want it to explode. So very important to keep your thumb on top of the bottle at all times. Now there's a little cage here. We turn it off about six turns. Now the key to opening champagne or sparkling is you don't pull the cork out. You hold the cork down with your thumb and you twist the bottle. Now you don't want to blow the cork out all over the place. That can cause an accident and you lose all the bubbly stuff that's inside the bottle. The key is to twist it slowly and let the cork out as softly as possible without making a lot of noise and that keeps the bubbles inside. Let's give it a try. So I'm turning the bottle and the cork is slowly easing out, easing out under my hand here. Here we go, here we go, there we go, just a little whisper. Now this is a Peller Estates Cuvée Signature Rosé wine. It's made in the traditional method of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and it has added a little bit of Cabernet Franc and ice wine as a dosage at the end to give it a little hint of sweetness. So this way when we open the cork softly the bubbles will stay in the bottle for a long time and we can enjoy it. Cheers!